an algorithms question we have been given this p which is an array containing n integers let us say this is our array p it is having n integers they can be anything and let t be the lowest upper bound on the number of comparisons of the array elements that are required to find minimum and maximum values in an arbitrary array of n elements so by this arbitrary array they mean the same array that is p so this is our array p we will, nothing is given so we'll assume it to be unsorted and in this array we need to find out the minimum and maximum elements using the least number of comparisons and that number of comparison is denoted by t so we want to minimize the value of t for this so in this array element because it is unsorted if it were sorted then we would say this is the first element p of 0 is the minimum and p of n minus 1 is the maximum that would take zero comparisons to be precise so we'll assume it to be unsorted and then find out the best algorithm which will give us the min and max elements from this array using minimum number of comparisons and that number is given as t so what are the different approaches we can go the first one the basic approach if we go for linear search that is we will initialize the current max as let's say something as int min and we'll initialize the current min as int max and then we will traverse that entire array and at any point if that array element is found to be greater than current max we'll update it if it is found to be lesser than the current min we will update that and by the end we will have the current max and current min storing the actual maximum and minimal values in this array but this approach performs a linear search which means every array element is compared so it takes linear number of comparisons and that is what we need to minimize so is there a better approach that will reduce the number of comparison we need not check for every array element here we are comparing every element with both current packs as well as current men so that is what we need to minimize so there is a better approach called as tournament method it is an algorithm that divides the problem into two sub problems of equal size and it says that let us this is our array p then we'll divide it into two halves let us say this is the first half of the array p and this is the second half and it will continue till the end until we have the single elements or pair of elements left then from that pair we will find out the current max and current min the smaller of them will be min and the greater of them will be max and then we will keep on returning those values so by the end let us say at this particular level 1 we are having two equal parts of this array in this we will have min and max similarly here we will have min and max and then both of them will be combined together to give us the min and max of the entire array this will reduce the number of comparisons that we need so this is a divide and conquer approach with which we can use the recurrence relation in order to find out the number of comparisons and let us see how that can be done the problem is being divided into two parts at a time so let us say in order to find out the maximum element the number of comparisons that are required will be given as n by 2 n by 4 n by 8 and so on because that is how sub problems are being divided so this becomes an infinite geometric progression and when we take its summation we will take n by 2 as common and then 1 plus half plus 1 by 4 so on so this becomes infinite geometric progression with the value of r equal to half so summation will be given as 1 by 1 minus half that is become becoming n by 2 times 1 by half means 2 so both of them get cancelled and we are getting n so in order to find out the maximum element we got n and in the same way if we were to find the minimum element then what we'll do we'll perform the same algorithm but on the other half of the array the size of the problem will be divided by half so this thing will actually remain the same but it, the input size has reduced to half
so that half will be carried out till the end and hence for minimum even the number of comparisons will be will be getting as n by 2 that is the half of the previous one so what's the total number of comparisons that we needed it is n plus n by 2 which means 3n by 2 so the value of t will be less than or equal to 3n by 2 but it will always be greater than n so we can go for the third option that is t is less than equal to 3 times n by 2 this is the ceiling that they have used 3 times n by 2 this is actually 3 times n by 2 so t is less than this that's the maximum value and the lower bound will be this n because this is the number of comparisons that will be required in every case so the correct option will be going with this the third one